You look a bit upset about Let's that. Let's have a take two of that, because I reckon, I reckon, I, we need some faster questions coming up. Woo! <laughs> It is time for another edition of You in Two, and I am delighted to be joined by Harry Cogden. Harry, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. All right, good, right. Premise, you've got two minutes to answer as many questions about your own career as you can. Let's go. Now, in theory, you should know these, but have been warned, you're very competitive, so I'll be as quick as I possibly can, okay? Right, Ollie Bell, on the timer. All set. Okay. Which Paul Nichols trained horse shares his name with a character from Peaky Blinders? Pass. Danny Wisbang. You've ridden McFabulous on nine of his ten career starts. Who rode him to win his Newbury Bunker? Lorcan Williams. That's right. On which snooty sounding mare have you won races at Cheltenham, Chepstow, Newbury, Wincanton, and Taunton? Postrish. That's right. At which two British tracks have you ridden in flat races? Uh, York yep. and Wolverhampton. That's right. Who did you beat into second when riding Politolog to victory in 2017 Tingle Creek Fox Chase? Norton. That's right. At which Scottish course do you have a 46% strike rate with six winners from 13 rides? Uh, Air? No, it's Musselburgh. Oh. Who did you ride to victory in the 2018 Grade 1 Megal Novices Chase at Aintree? Diego Charmel. That's right. What was Old Guard's starting price when you won the Great Wood on him when claiming seven? Thirty-three combat? to one. It's Twelve to one. Oh. Um, you first rode Dynamite Dollars in a listed novices hurdle in November 2017. At which course was that? Sandown. Haydock. Oh. <laughs> Surname has run in 14 chase starts in total. How many times has he won? Seven. Seven. That's right. You beat Santini by half a length aboard, top of the game in the 2019 RSA Chase. Who went off the 15 to 8 favourite? Fell to work. That's right. Who is top of the game's sire? Stowaway. No, it's Flemish Fur. That's right. Who gave you your first Grade 1 winner? Irving. That's right. How many times have you ridden Colin Tizard's Elegant Escape? Seven. That's right. Uh, no, sorry, it's not, it's not, it's five, it's five. Uh, you said in your earlier interview with Ollie Bell that you decided to ride instead of taking your GCSEs. Which exam oh. did you skip? English. That's right. And we're out of questions. Uh, Nine. Oh, Nine. All right, Nine. okay. How many, how many was that? Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Uh, right, so we're out of time. Harry Cobden scores nine. So you go joint second with Daryl Jacob. So Joe Tizard still tops the table, which is on screen now, with 13. You look a bit upset about Let's that, Let's have right? a take two of that, because I reckon, I reckon, I, we need some faster questions coming up. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, Tizard's beating me. Never mind. I'm, I'm so, I, did I not read quickly? No, you're all right, you're all right. You must be my I've northern, got half northern of them. I've, got, I've, I've, got, I've got half of them wrong. I can't believe I got top of the game sire wrong. You, you didn't know about Danny Wisbank? No. You don't watch Peaky Blinders? Yeah, don't watch Peaky Blinders. Might be worth tuning in. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so that's it, Harry Cobden. He scores nine and goes joint second with Daryl Jacob.